Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We're doing some more work on the STI today. We're taking a break from motor work on the STI. We're gonna do a little bit of interior work because this car could use a little spruce up. Apart from getting the interior shampooed out, vacuumed out, and cleaned out, this car's still showing its age. The steering wheel is really beat up. This vent is all destroyed and stuff and it needs new floor mass, which it doesn't have. Um, but other than that, for this year and how old it is, the interior is pretty clean but we can make it better. So I have some cool little goodies over here for the car. I have a brand new set of STI floor mats for the car. A nice brand new STI logo. They still make them. I wanted to relocate where I put the access port and get an official mount for it. That way it doesn't block the AC vent. And the last thing I have for the car, which I've kind of already done, and if you saw my shorts about it, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I covered a little bit there, but I, I bought the titanium key, or so they call it titanium, I don't actually think it's titanium, but I bought the titanium key, and I got it figured out and cut up for this car. It's super easy. If you didn't see my video on it, basically what you do is you go to a locksmith and they program a new chip for you, and uh, while you can't put the chip in this key, unless you like severely modify this key and cut it up, which I didn't want to do. You can put the chip to the key inside the base of the fob and it will be close enough to the immobilizer to start the car. So I really love this key. Like that's a reason to upgrade it. So let's get these new floor mats in and then we'll start working on getting the new access port mount in. There we go. It looks so much better in there. Now you have something protecting the floor mats and a nice cherry blossom STI logo. If you have a dog or any type of animal and you struggle getting pet hair or any type of hair out of the carpet and seats in your car, I would highly recommend picking up one of these Lily brushes. They're an absolute game changer in getting all the hair out of the car. I mean, it's seriously like magic. You just scrape it all up and vacuum it out and it's, it does miracles. Passenger seat down. You can really tell that the previous owner drove this car without floor mats because the the color of the blue carpeting is just totally destroyed on in the footwells. And which is kind of a bummer because even when I went and I extracted and tried to shampoo all that out, I couldn't get it out because the color of the fabric actually just changed color. So that's a bummer. But we got some nice new floor mats to make it look new again. Make it look like it came off the showroom floor 20 years ago or whatever. Next thing I have is this access port mount. And this is from a company called Dialed Mounts, I believe. It's a, ni it's a nice 3D printed mount that goes in the defrost vent and it utilizes the Cobb holster, which I had to get a new one because uh, this car did not come with one. It's a good place to mount the access port so that you can see it clearly and access it without blocking any of the vents or anything. Normally I would suggest getting a plastic trim piece pry tool, but I don't have one. All I'm gonna use is a flathead with some tape covering it, like that. I don't know why they decided to cut out all the vents in this one. It doesn't make any sense to me. Just take it out. Anyways, it's kind of cool the way it works but there's like a sandwich plate that you tighten down with these it's uh it's pretty stunning there it's not going anywhere this is the mount for cob holster that usually comes with the access port but it should sit something like that which is really cool I have the wire running down next to the steering column. Super sweet, really accessible, and it doesn't block any of the vents, which means I get full AC, which is something that is very necessary here in Arizona. I have a nice slew of Adams Polishes goodies to get this paint back to its former glory as best as I can. This white Subaru paint is notorious for flaking and being really thin. I won't say thin. It's very brittle paint, and over time, uh, it starts to flake, like as you can see on here on the bumper, and I want to get, I want to salvage and I want to protect as much of this paint as possible so that what's left of this paint is the best quality it can be. So I'm in no way sponsored by Adams Polishes, but I really like the product. I used it to correct and ceramic coat the M340, which as you can see, listen the sunlight and it really makes this paint shine. Um, it, uh, the ceramic coat is awesome on this car. It makes washing a breeze and I'm super excited to see what it can do for this car. So 
I have some, a couple of things. I have the ceramic coating spray. Now this is not as permanent as what I did on the blue car, but it's still a lasting spray. I believe 18 months is what it said. Um, whereas the, the most concentrated form, which is what I put on the M340 lasts like five to seven years, but I went with something a little bit lighter. It's a little bit easier of an install. It doesn't take as much prep work. And then I have some polish, compound, and a clay bar the whole car. And then I have some uh, black trim restore. I'm gonna try this out, see how it works. The uh, trim on this car is a little bit rough right now. See that, but it is uh, it has seen better days. So we're gonna try to get it, that restored too, but that's gonna come in, in another video. I don't have everything I quite need to do that job yet, and I wanna make sure that I do it right. But yeah, I should be doing a full cut and polish on this car, see how much we can salvage, because it needs a bad look. I've kind of accepted that unless I spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this car to get either resprayed or fix and correct the paint that is on it right now, I'm never gonna get this paint to be as perfect as, it, as I would like it to be. Being what this car is, I don't think it's smart investment-wise, at least, right now to spend the thousands of dollars to respray this car as much as I would like to. At the end of the day, for this specific car, I don't think that investment is necessary. While I enjoy this car and it's it's been one of my dream cars, I don't think that this specific car will be like a forever car for me because I would like to grow this channel more and I'd like to expand out outside of the Subarus because that's kind of what I've been limited to. I would like, I really like to start doing some more content with the M340 while I still have it. Getting as much content as I can out of this car, but doing a full 10 to $20,000 full restoration on the paint and body in this car just doesn't make sense for me because at the end of the day, it's still a salvage title and it's mechanically sound and it's perfect for somebody who either A, wants to do that themselves and they will end up keeping this car forever or um, doesn't really care about the minor details and paint and just wants a mechanically sound SDI, which is what this car is. So that's gonna come in a different video. A couple other things we have left to do on this car is I, I need to still do the transmission fluid flush and get this uh, shock proof in it. It really needs it. I don't even know the last time that the transmission was serviced. I have to obviously fix the valve cover leak, but it actually hasn't leaked anything in a couple of days since I noticed it first. So it's not a emergency. I know it's still seeping slightly and maybe that's why I saw the little drop is because it seeped just enough to actually make it drip. So I will be fixing that. I'm gonna order the new crush washers for the transmission because I had actually planned on doing that today, but I realized that I didn't have the transmission crush washers. So I didn't wanna start that job, drain the transmission, realize I didn't have the crush washers and then be have this car stuck where it is. And I'm gonna order the new valve cover gaskets and the new spark plug gaskets so that I can eventually do that job because that job's gonna be a process and I'm, like I said in the last video, I'm not really looking forward to it, but uh, it needs to be done. So, speaking of the blue car, I haven't really showed this a lot on the channel yet, but this is my 2021 BMW M340i. It's basically a four-door Supra. It's a super fun car, and I haven't really done a whole lot with it because I've really been trying to get this car up and going. This has been kind of a daily driver for me. It's a super fun car. I don't plan on doing any mods to it just yet or any time in the future because I like the car how it is. The only thing I could really think about doing is maybe an exhaust for this thing. Aftermarket support on the newer B58 models is kind of tricky right now because there's honestly not a whole lot you can do with them. You have to, it's a really pain in the neck to get them tuned because you have to pull the ECU you actually have to send it to somebody, physically ship your ECU to somebody to get them to unlock it if you want to actually tune anything. I would rather just try to grow the channel in a different way and get a different car that we could do more content with, like maybe a Supra or something else that actually can provide good content. I'm very thankful for it, but I believe at some point in this future, this car is going to be used to grow something better on the channel, and I won't reveal that just quite yet. Kind of a shorter video today, but we have some cool things coming for this car. I definitely want to get some driving videos of this car, get some uh, third-person driving videos, because I do have uh, an Insta360 camera, and uh, I use it a lot for other things, but I need to figure out a way to mount it to this car, and any car for that matter. 
so that we can do some nice driving footage. And I would like to get a better camera for POV, such as like a GoPro or the new Insta uh, 360 camera. It's it's made by Insta, but it's basically like this little itty bitty camera you can mount to like a hat or something like that, um, so that we can get some cool POV footage. So I want to give you a reminder that if you haven't followed me on Instagram. I'm posting a bunch of other short form content over there too and on the YouTube reel or the YouTube shorts and you get to see some other kind of side content, shorter content that I do and a lot of the car meets that I will be going to, content that I get from there will be posted there. So I'll link it down in the description but uh, with that, we'll see you in the next one.